Hey, how's it going? Today we're gonna go over how to draw a scary castle. Uh, so it's gonna be real simple. We're only gonna be using this marker right here. And that's kind of it. This is for beginners. So if you love Halloween and you love Halloween drawings, uh, should be really easy for you if you're brand new. Uh, so let's get started. First thing I'm gonna do, and this is kind of more of a silhouette. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna draw, and I'm using this kind of marker where I can fill stuff in. So I highly recommend something like that, maybe a Sharpie, something you can play around with a silhouette. So I'm gonna draw initially this shape right here, and it's kind of like a box but the top is, is, is bigger than the bottom. Okay, then I'm gonna draw that right here, kind of like on the hill, like it's, it's uh, embedded into the ground. And then I'm gonna draw a little bit down here and a little bit down here. So I'm gonna make this edge, this downhill, a little bit jaggedy. And that is up to you, really. You can just I just want it to look like there's some rocks down here. Then I'm gonna draw an S curve right here, and that's gonna be for and that's gonna be for uh, just kind of like to make it look like a road. So that S curve is right there, and I'm gonna fill in the outside of this. So it's a lot. It's very easy to fill it in with this marker. Uh, I highly recommend this marker. This marker is a Faber-Castell PITT Artist Pen Big Brush. Um, definitely uh, check this, this marker out. I, I, I put the link in the description if you want to find it on Amazon. Um, I also put the paper I'm using on Amazon, uh, you know, the link from Amazon as well. It's just printing paper really, so. Okay, so now I filled that in and now I have like a dirt hill and I have a little road, okay? Then I'm going to Draw a small hump over here, an additional hump if you already don't have one. And I'm gonna put a little cross on it, so that's gonna be like a gravestone sticking out, right? We're dealing with silhouettes, we're playing with shapes. Okay, then I'm going to draw a hump here, and that's gonna be a, a negative space, it's gonna be open. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw a line across here, line across here, line across here, and I'm gonna draw down this direction, a few of these. And that's gonna look like an open gate, right? Like an open gate for a castle. Then I'm gonna draw another hump right here, like a gravestone shape on this side, a gravestone shape on this side, and I'm gonna leave it open. Gravestone shape as well up here somewhere. And you can draw a couple of these up here. It doesn't have to be all in the same area. Uh, I'm gonna draw across that, one line across, and one line across here. One line across here, one line across here. It doesn't have to be one, but I'm just choosing to do that. And so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna fill in all of this space right here. I have to be careful about it too. I'm gonna fill in all of this. So don't worry about uh, when you fill it in to make it even or whatever, like, oh, I'm gonna fill in. It, it'll dry relatively at the same value. Uh, it'll dry close enough, especially when it's black. It'll dry close enough that it'll be fine. Don't, I wouldn't worry about it. Because when people, when you look at like silhouettes and stuff like that, especially like this, um, usually you want the quick read, you know? Like we're, we're working on it, so we're looking at it very carefully, right? But other people that will see it when it's done are not gonna do that. They're just gonna go boom, like quick, you know, quick impression. And their quick impression, they're not gonna look at the little uh, blotches inside the, the actual dark shape, uh, almost ever. Uh, unless it's like really noticeable, so you just have to be kind of aware of that. Alrighty, and I'm gonna throw a little kind of square block around the side. It's, it's kind of just gonna, I guess, kind of mimic some form of like construction, right? Like we have, uh, you know, like this spooky house. I thought maybe a line off there, and that's gonna just mimic, you know, some, you know, architecture, I guess. So next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw a square on the top there, 
and also a square at the top here. And I'm also going to draw, again, that same shape, this same uh, kind of gravestone shape, and that's going to be also negative space for these. So right now we're just building up our, our uh, kind of shapes, essentially. Uh, and lastly, I'm going to give this kind of like a roof. So really just like a triangle shape at the top of each of these. Uh, and I'm also going to fill those in as well. So we're just stacking uh, kind of silhouettes at this point and kind of building it up slowly because you don't want to run it off a page. Uh, if you need to alter something on your page, please do so, you know, um, if it's getting too tall or it's getting out of the page here. And I'm going to throw a cross at the top of this, cross at the top of this, just went for like a design element. And the oh, last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a kind of jaggedy tree uh, silhouette coming out of here. And I'm going to think of it almost like lightning in a way. Just kind of make your jaggedy tree and it's really just one large um, trunk and then uh, it splits in the two and it splits in it, it splits again and it's really just kind of wiggly lines for the most part uh, and if you want you can draw like some dots on your road here to make it look more like a road but that's pretty much it that is a scary kind of that's a scary castle um, I hope that was easy enough for you to follow along. Uh, I know that you're wasting a lot of like ink when you do that, so be careful uh, be in your approach to this. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much. If you enjoyed that, do me a huge favor and uh, check uh, subscribe to the channel and then comment below. And uh, that's pretty much it. If you want, I'm gonna put a free ebook on how to draw cute stuff. It's a little bit different, but just how to draw cute stuff in general. But you can check that out as well. I'm probably going to put the link in the description. Uh, but thank you so much. I appreciate the, the, the view. And I will talk to you later on. Definitely comment to me, by the way. I reply to every comment. Stay spooky.